You see, in your interpretation of, of, of the Bible, it is important to take into consideration a historical background. Because the, the interpretation or your interpretation must at least have some awareness of the life and society of the time in which the scripture was written. The spiritual principle will be timeless but can't be properly appreciated without some knowledge of the background. You do need to understand the background that what was the culture of the moment? What was the custom of that particular race? What actually was happening during that time? You do need to understand these things. Another thing, your interpretations actually must have logic. Interpretation has to be logical. You must not in contradict yourself in your process of interpreting interpreting scriptures because if that happened, you will be now confusing your audience. Interpretation is merely a logical reasoning. You have to ask yourself some questions. Does the interpretation make sense? This invites investigations, research, applying the law of language and grammatic analysis. You see now, the most important thing now is to take into consideration the rule of context. Context has to be understood and with context you do need to understand the pretext and the post text. Now, what is the pretext? The pretext is the information which happened before. Actually, the pretext is the prehistory. Now, what is the post text? The post text is the information which happened after. In other words, post text is the information or the pre preceding text. So it is very, very important to take into consideration the information which has happened before and the information which has happened after. Now, what is context? Context is the information which you are dealing with, is the current issue. In a simple sense, pretext is what was happening before. Post-text is what happened after. Context is what was happening really. So in your in the process of your interpretation, you do need to take into consideration the pretext and the post text in order not to code out of the context. And for you to do that, you do need to understand the principle of hermeneutics and exegesis of scriptures. The question is, what is hermeneutics? Mm -hmm. Now, hermeneutics is the process of interpreting the Bible. Hermeneutics is the theory of text interpretation. Lastly, hermeneutics is the art and science of interpreting what an author has written. It is an art in, in, in the sense that it requires a skill. And it is science in the sense that it is logical. These include all the rules, principles, theories, and methods of interpreting the literature or text or Bible. It covers the process from trying to understand the origi original meaning of the verses to what it means to us today. Now, what is exegesis? Exegesis, this is the act of interpreting or explaining the meaning of scripture. It is finding out what was happening or what was the message that was heard by the original recipient of the Bible. For example, stop drinking only water and use a little vine. That's found in the book of Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. Now, an exegesis will attempt to find out what really meant to Timothy. Not to us today. The original message was given to Timothy by the Apostle Paul under a specific circumstance. The background may involve issues that are evident to both Paul and Timothy, but are not mentioned in the Bible. Now, it is important for you to understand the background because 
if you misunderstand the original meaning. I doubt that you will have the proper application of the Bible in your life. Because the goal of applying the principle of hermeneutics and exegesis is to rightly handle the word of truth according to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Are you with me, church? There are four things which you need to do when you are about to interpret the scriptures. When you are dealing with scriptures, it is imperative to approach these following techniques. Number one, you have to observe the scripture. Number two, you have to analyze the scripture. Number three, you have to interpret the scripture. Number four, you have to apply the scripture. In fact, the first rule is the rule of observation. Observe the scripture. In the process of observation, you take into consideration the pretext, the posttext, and the context. You even take into consideration the historical background. What was the culture of the moment? What was the language which was being spoken? The second thing is the principle or the rule of analyzing. You analyze the scripture. That's why you even consider grammar. The way the sentences are being like structured. You consider all those things and the style of writing. Number three, now you begin to interpret the rule of interpretation. Now you explain, you relate the message to your audience and your interpretation has to be logical and must not contradict with other concepts of the Bible. Then lastly is the rule of application. Now you apply the scripture to your audience because you do need to understand that the scriptures were written in a time where different people were living on earth. I mean like it was written before us. Now you must be able now to convey that message to the life of today. Now you must be able to interpret actual the things which were written to the Jews to fit in our life.